Research is very important for SCORE that places science at the heart of its business. We have a long track of scientific collaborations through our seven R&D centers of SCORE Global Life, each dedicated to specific biometric risks. We work with researchers uh, from a broad range of disciplines, demographers, epidemiologists, medical scientists, gerontologists, um, statisticians, and also specialists in health policy. This is an amazing experience and a necessity if uh, we want to gain a thorough understanding of the risks we reinsure. SCO Global Life, through its R&D Center, intends to increase the knowledge of the risk. For what concerns long-term care, the biggest challenge that we face is the scarcity of data, and this especially at high ages, above 85, and also when it comes to qualitative data. The interest for Scott to do such a partnership with INSERM is exactly to have access to the data they have and the knowledge they have about long-term care risk. INSERM is a unique organism that has leveraged for now 30 years qualitative information about the loss of autonomy process for people aged 65 and plus. With this partnership that will last for three years, we'll be able to work together in order to better understand the risk of long-term care. In the early 2000s, SCO Global Life and INSERM had the first partnership in order to develop the knowledge of long-term care within SCO Global Life. By the time INSERM had in the information about one cohort, which is the PACWID one. With our teams, they worked on the incidence rates for different levels of loss of autonomy and for some risk factors of long-term care, such as the level of education. With this new partnership, we'll now be able to focus not only on one cohort, but on three cohorts, PACWID, Trois-Cité and IME. If I take the example of France, which is the biggest market for SCORE Global Life for long-term care, we will try to go deep inside the similarities between the ADL definition and the AGIR definition. On top of that, we'll also focus on other areas such as trend, as with the data they have, they have been able to monitor and follow the risk of long-term care over a 30 years period. Finally, our goal is not only to find a solution for the insured when he faces long-term care, but also to help him in the prevention stage. As an example, Professor Dartig and Karin Perez told us that the loss of hearing is the first sign of loss of autonomy. This is the role of the reinsurer to take such information from those partnerships and work together with the insurance companies to make the best use of it. Mm -hmm.